Okay, you M1 chip lovers, I'm gonna put you all up on a little bit of game here. So basically, if you are a music producer and you're thinking about upgrading to the new M1, think twice because, well, I won't say a music producer, I'll take that back. If you are someone that uses universal audio and that's the only interface that you own, think twice about buying this. M1. I mean, for what it does as far as speed wise, that's the reason why I got it. My workflow was really slow when I was doing a lot of projects, my CPU. I mean, coming from a four gigabyte to this one is a 16 gigabyte. So I was like, okay, let me upgrade. They got a new M1. You know, it sounds really fast, but little did I know that there's going to be some complications involved. And let me explain. So Basically, I got it, got it home, tried to hook it up to a Thunderbolt 2. Realized the Thunderbolt 2 cable, it's now a 3. So you have to buy this adapter, which you can find it at Walmart. I, I'll try to put a link in my description. But basically, it's like 40, 50 bucks. You know, I paid like 48 bucks with tax, whatever. Okay. Through Walmart. Anywho, got it in the mail, just got it, hooked it up. I'm like, okay, let me get ready to hook this up. So then I come to the website to re-download the software. Okay. So get here, go to the download section or whatever, and basically come to find out the M1 chip is not supported. So basically, I own only this, my only audio interface, spent about 800 bucks when I got it. Then I spent money on plugins that were like four to 500 bucks. So roughly, you know, around 1500 bucks just to get this bad puppy and, I, and i'm not gonna lie they're you know work stuff on there i mean the plugins are are really nice uh really powerful i mean i don't have no complaints once it's running but i have a complaint with the integration between these two so if you're thinking about buying this m1 think twice if you own this or be prepared to buy another one because I called Universe Audio and the gentleman told me, he said, basically they don't have any fixes. He's like, you can take down, you know, your security or whatever, but I'm just wondering if there's anybody out here with these same issues or have figured out a workaround to please let me know. It would be very helpful. Uh, I just wanna do my work, <laughs> but I'm pretty much stuck without buying a new one and wait until they come up with a new um, update or whatever they got to do. But they really need to fix this because this is going to be a big issue with people upgrading and trying to, you know, get a better operating system. So without further ado, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and i will give you updated information on this if i find out anything to help you out uh, make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications to let you know um yeah but other than that hope everybody else is having a better day than i am